All right, y'all, welcome back. So today we're gonna to be reinstalling the suspension on the electric, at least as much as we can uh, without needing to install the motor. Um, so the rear suspension completely, let me uh, do a little tour. I've been collecting parts and cleaning parts. So I've got the rear axle all cleaned up. These are the backing plates that go inside the chassis. Um, they were all like, you know, surface rusty and gross. So I got those clean and painted, got all the hardware cleaned up. Um, got the axle nice and clean. Uh, been collecting tons of parts. So I've been trying to get really high quality parts, also not just getting, you know, whatever cheap stuff. So I've got uh, Bilstein springs. I've got these Lestjords, uh, or Lestjords, uh, some Swedish, they're Swedish brands. Polyurethane bushings. So uh, these are great because they last like forever, basically. They'll last way longer than rubber. Um, normally you get these and they're stiffer than stock but I've gone for the black ones, and the black ones have a similar um, stiffness to uh, just a normal rubber bushing that you get standard. So if you get red ones, usually the red ones are stiff, um, the black ones are softer. So I went for soft black ones, but that'll last forever. And I'm, uh, you, you wanna make sure you grease these, put a bunch of grease on them so they uh, work nice and smooth. So that's gonna be awesome. I got some uh, centric brake, um, uh, hoses, these are the soft hoses. I got, you know, rod ends back there, strut mounts. I got uh, brake pads, um, shock boots. Went for some Bilstein shocks, you know, high quality German shocks. Um, back here, this is the front subframe. I've got it all cleaned up and painted. And uh, front suspension mounts all cleaned up and painted. Um, what are those? Oh, CV boots. I got a new set of CV boots I'll be putting on. Brembo front rotors, nice. So I got all the, all the stuff ready to go back on. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today is reinstalling the rear suspension. So we'll get started and do that. Need to clean these, I guess. I can't put dirty parts on my damn car. Spend all the time cleaning all the other stuff. I'll have to clean both of these. And that. Ta da! Okay. Let's go about assembling. Sweet. Sweet. How cool do those two look? Real cool. That's the answer. Those are gonna have to seat themselves, I guess. And just a little bit popped off over the seat there, but otherwise all good. Ready to go in, and of course these have brand new bushings in them. So I'm not gonna touch those. Sweet. Hmm. 
necessarily help. Alright. So stock it had these ones out on the shock and these ones inside the car. That looks like just a sealer. So I've got this one. I think I might need to do that one, huh? So I guess that's how it goes. The, this one goes up into the body, and this one comes from the top over there. And uh, you just sandwich it there. So, cool. We'll do the next one, then we'll get them installed. All right, got it supported by the jack. So I can go inside. Uh oh. These plates go inside.
All right, I'm gonna wait to torque all those bolts up until I can load the suspension. You want the suspension loaded and around normal ride height before you torque those bolts. Just so you don't pinch the bushings or bind them or anything. They, they're in their happy spot. So I get the weight of the car supported. Now I can go ahead and tighten. I'll go ahead and tighten all these bolts. All right, so since I last updated you, I've added um, the helper springs back. I cleaned them up and painted them. I'm not sure what car they're from or would have gotten new ones, um, but they still seem okay. And I added those back because I think that it's designed to split the load between those two springs. Um, I was thinking about it and I was worried that just with one suspension mount up there, having all the load being transferred in the fiberglass, maybe it would punch through or something. And, um, so that was worrying me when I was trying to sleep on it. So I decided to add that helper spring back in, but I got it all cleaned up and painted and uh, put it back in there. These are like um, just foam blocks, I guess, to keep it from bottoming out or the coils from binding. So left those in. I got the uh, new or cleaned and painted axle in, uh, cleaned up all the brake lines up under here. Brand new soft brake lines installed. And you can also see the polyurethane bushings there um, with plenty of grease on them. Got the emergency brake cable routed, got the brake drums all cleaned up, um, and all new shoes and uh, rebuilt the hardware. And then most of it was okay. Like, you gotta remember this car only has 20,000 original miles on it, so a lot of the parts I'm just reusing. Um, if you go to buy new stuff for the Mark 1 Rabbit, like, <laughs> you get a lot of Chinese junk, so. I'm just figuring this car has low miles. Um, if it was a gas car, so and being an EV, people drive them gently. So I'm just gonna count on these parts being okay. And so also what I've done is I've just gone ahead and repacked the wheel bearings. Instead of replacing them front and rear, I repacked them with high quality grease. Um, <laughs> I used, uh, what is it, red, red and tacky uh, Lucas grease, which is probably overkill for such a, a low duty car so to speak but um anyway we got the that all done wheel bearings are all nice and smooth everything rotates nice and smoothly um basically the rear is done now so next order of business is the front so we're gonna get the front back together <laughs> 